Right guys, Mark Cotswood here. Lots of people asking me about Bryson DeChambeau's side saddle putting. So I've got my Sam Putt Lab here. We're going to go out and test it and show you what I can find out about side saddle putting and if it could help you or not. Let's get stuck in. Right, now as that boots up, I'm gonna have a little practice first. see here is my putter is not going to work because the lie is too flat it has to get too far away from me to do the hold he's doing looks like it's going much more up here let me go and find a more upright putter I've got one now there is legal limits on how upright a putter can go all I can guess with Bryson is his looks almost completely 90 degrees to the ground um, well, I think it's around 82 or something. There's a lie limit basically that you're allowed to go to. Basically, as I keep telling you, everything is controlled in this game. Loads more than you think. Now, his to go more upright like that, he must have the legal limit lie, I'm imagining, but then a rounded bottom to the putter that he must use, which then makes it kind of irrelevant what angle he's got it set on. Obviously, this is a flat one, so I'm gonna do my best. This is the most upright I can get. This is at the most upright this putter can legally go. Now it is very hard at the beginning to have any idea what I'm doing. I'm going to try and go as upright as possible. Now I wonder if he has the shaft lean altered as well because I can't get it comfortable unless it's behind me in a place where the shaft isn't way, way back. And the pictures I've seen of him, it's almost in front of him, isn't it? It's, I would feel more comfortable going that way. Not holding many. Definitely gonna use my version of grip. I don't think I can get into his grip with the putter I've got or any putter I've seen. Right, I'm calibrated, I'm gonna have to go five putts using my grip, and then I'll do five putts using Bryson's grip, and then we'll go and have a look at the data. Five wasn't bad. Back starts really ache on those, and it just feels really strange. So we we'll go with Bryson's grip. Just the one. Let's go and look at the data. That was interesting. Let's take a look at some of the data that I captured using my grip to start. So my different version of Bryson's grip, but still side saddle. So face aiming at a dress wasn't good. Again, I feel head shape if there were options, lies, shaft leans. If I could get them all modified, I reckon I would have no problem aiming up from there at all. Face impact nearly two degrees open, so that's definitely worse than my stroke. Path going about three degrees left, which is similar to what my stroke does from conventional stance. Obviously the lie is not quite right because obviously I'm side saddle, I'm trying to get more upright. What's interesting is the strokes are considerably straighter than lots of my normal strokes. Uh, I have more of a curve. Give me more time to practice that I would be able to get them where I want them to be. Strike's not great, but they're kind of in one spot and for kind of first go, not too bad. Rotations, very similar to the rotations I get on mine, just not quite as consistent. And there's the big thing, it just doesn't feel quite as consistent. Launches and things are way off because that putt is just not set up. It wants to be set up in a different way, doesn't it? And I think that's the big thing with this that I'm learning for Bryson must have a very particular, like his irons, putter to make this work for him. Now, if we look at Bryson's grip when I used his, 
aim way off, face at impact closer, path better, only one degree out, um, which is interesting. Strike way off, and again, that felt so awkward the way he was doing it, I would never work it out that way. And I just think grip isn't the biggest denominator here because I think there's variations on grip on a normal stance. Rotation's pretty good and quite consistent with Bryson's grip. And then launches and what have you, a little bit closer, neutral spin. But again, lofts and shaftlings just not set up that correctly for me. Those numbers would never make me want to change. I'm quite happy with my putting, so I wouldn't really want to change. But I do think it's an interesting way to approach the problem. I don't see it as any worse given the time to practice. Let's try some longer ones. So you can see there from the data, definitely my my grip that I'm more comfortable with makes more sense. I see this more as just a different option. I feel like I could perform the same task if everything was fit and custom and set up for me. Um, I think it looks very shocking because it's so different and I think we're used to Bryson as well shocking us and some of us maybe get a little bored of the fact that the same person shocks us every time. That's a real common human instinct. I reckon if you gave me his putter, his grip would make more sense. But the grip's irrelevant, isn't it? I mean, so many people stand conventional way and um, hold it in a different style. No one questions that, do they? So I don't think the, I think the grip's about personal preference. I do like the fact that I'm looking at the hole, like down the line. That's something to me that really is quite appealing. So with these longer ones, I'm also going to line it up the way we see Bryson lining it up. I mean, I totally feel I could get used to this. And with this little line up from behind, it's going in. Um, it makes total sense. It's kind of aim and fire. And as I do more and more of these, there's a part of me that wants to give it a go. I definitely think I could putt like this. And I feel if I ever experienced any problems, I would do it straight away. I think if you're looking for something new in your feeling, give this a go, but you're gonna need a very specific kind of putter for it to work. Thanks for watching, interesting one. I enjoyed that. Post those comments down below. Let me know what you think. Is it something you would try or not? Remember to hit that subscribe button while you're down there and give it the good old thumbs up.